Okay, you make this mistake when setting your selling prices, and I'm going to tell you a story to illustrate it. Earlier this week, I had one of my mastermind groups, and this woman, let's call her Mary, asked a question about setting or pricing. She does a high quality linen product, and she gave the example of that the materials, in this case, cost 60 euros, her labor was 40 euros, it was like 15 euros by two and a half hours. So she was asking the question, 100 euros, is the price correct? Now, we've been through discussion with Mary before, and the great thing about a group like this is that Mary makes a bespoke quality product and she simply was not charging enough because she was coming up with this price and she was afraid to charge more. And as a business owner, I'm sure we've all felt that we didn't want to charge more. What we said to Mary was to go and look at similar products. And when she did this, she realized that similar products in some high end shops were selling for 300 euros and 350 euros. So what Mary did is she took her figure of 100 and took some of the other figures of 350 and came up with a price of about 240. So instead of charging 100 euros, she charged 240. Now, the great thing about that was that Mary went from just having the figure in her own head thinking, well, oh, I can't charge more than this. What did she do? She went and looked at similar products and looked at what competitors were charging. Now, if you ever feel like you set your prices too low or you should be charging more, this is a really good technique and I've done this with lots of people over the years, is go and find somebody who's at the same level of you and see what they're charging because there will be people out there charging a lot more than you. If you charge 100, guaranteed there's people out there charging 200 and 250. Are they better than you? Maybe, maybe not. So, and the great thing about the mastermind group is that it was asking these questions, challenged Mary to go away from the price that was in her own head and to look at the competitors. So it's a great technique. Um, and I think if you do that, you may well end up charging more for, for your service, your product and increasing your profits. Okay, thanks for listening.